I've been back on the farm approximately 15 years and my father passed away seven years ago. My dad had been ill for a long time so the farm was run down and I had to do a lot of infrastructure work which took a lot of money and I thought I had the five year plan that all oh, right five years I'll finish my job retire and be a farmer and then drought hit. <laughs> so that put the stumps down really hard so I ended up having to stay at work so therefore my time is very very valuable. I joined Farm Army and um, found the lovely Garth and Amy amongst other people. Garth and Amy arrived. Um, they said, look, we'll be there for four days. We're going back to Melbourne. And they'd been on another property up here who'd been severely bushfire affected. It ended up Garth and Amy who were here 10 days, loved the area so much. And during that 10 days, I had a friend that needed a house sitter and we connected the two together. So now Garth and Amy have uprooted from Melbourne, are living here <laughs> and working one day a week on my farm, which has been brilliant. Having arrived at Leanne's and getting to know her and the sort of things that she uh, would like to have done around the, the farm, there's, there's so many small jobs that people, uh, people living in suburbia would have no problem in meeting around a farmhouse, there's always mowing, gardening, pruning, weeding, um, looking after the chooks. So they can come out when I'm at work and jump on the quad bike, be down the paddock. She's often said what a difference it makes just to have someone doing the small things that allows her to focus on the key things in a farming life. When they first arrived, I'd had one of the fences completely fall down on top of me, literally. And that was our first job. We went down the paddock. And then we've moved on to things like we're um, cleaning up a lot of the fire breaks, onto tree planting, cleaning up a lot of rubbish and doing lots of bonfires burning off for me. They've helped over at my mum's by mowing lawns. So there's a lot of, lots of different jobs you can get them doing. The Farm Army website is very easy to use. Farmers list their needs, their, they advertise to say, well, I'd like a hand with something. And uh, anyone interested in volunteering, uh, you register. We've never had any, we've never had any, um, anyone say, sorry, we don't want you. So we do have these people covered through our insurance policies. The majority of people that come have been um, in the older age bracket who are well, well aware of all these issues that are on, on farms. So I haven't had a problem even to have to tell people about things. They've, they've you know, had that common sense. But this is a great opportunity for people from the city to come out and experience farm life. When you wake up in the morning, you have a reason to do something for other people. So I think just embrace it, farmers. Come. <laughs> it's just a good feeling to know that you, you know, you're doing something and that it's appreciated. <laughs>